Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at a citizen watch, a citizen pilot chronograph to be exact. But before that, let us all dive into a brief history of the citizen brand. The story begins in 1918 when Tokyo jeweler Kamikichi Yokamazi founded the Shokosha Watch Research Institute and began producing pocket watches. The watch market at the time was dominated by the Swiss brands and the American brands. However, with the support of the then young Emperor of Japan, Hirohito, and the then Tokyo mayor, Shinpei Goto, whom gifted the idea for the brand name Citizen, Yakamazi began his work to produce affordable timepieces. The first commercial model, the Calibre 16 Pocket Watch, was sold in 1924 under the brand name Citizen. Soon, the Citizen Watch Company became a major watch producer, but its progress was halted by the eruption of World War II. After the war, however, a new era began for Citizen Watches, with the arrival of new company president, Eichi Yamada. Yamada, who understood that Citizen's future lay in overseas expansion, created the Citizen Trading Company, which marketed the brand around the world. Yamada also focused on the technological development of Citizen watches, producing a series of mechanical watches that will break through the Japanese watch industry. Today, Citizen is a leading watch company emphasizing on new innovations and many firsts, such as the world's first analog quartz solar cell, the world's first multi-zone radio control watch, the world's thinnest light-powered watch, Eco Drive One, to name a few. And the company is over 100 years old with well-known subsidiaries such as Boulevard, Frederick Constant under its umbrella, making it one of the biggest timepiece producers in the world today and arguably the leading watchmaking company in solar watch production with its robust Eco Drive technology. All right, everyone. Uh, before we move on, let's do a wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my Seiko Quartz Kronos. So this is a used watch that I recently got from the Afif 404 from Carousel. All right, so here's the Citizen watch. And uh, this is the box uh, that comes uh, for its packaging. And let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so here it is, the Citizen Pilot chronograph. Okay, so some of the characteristics and features that make a pilot watch are number one, it has to be large and legible dial. Uh, number two is the luminosity. Number three, it has uh, oversized winding crown. Fourth, uh, it has to be extra bezel markings. Right, so the watch comes with an instruction manual uh, as well as uh, the warranty card. The reference number is CA7040. E with the caliber B642. Uh, this is the chronograph function watch. Okay, let's look at some specs. Uh, the, the case size is uh, 41 millimeters. Uh, lock to lock is around 44 millimeters. And uh, the lock width is a beautiful 20 millimeters. Uh, the thickness is uh, 12 millimeters. And it's got three buttons here. This is for the start, uh, and then it's to reset uh, the chronograph. And uh, this is the crown. It's an unsigned crown, and it comes uh, in uh, mineral crystal. So it's got a solid uh, stainless steel bracelet uh, with uh, hollow end links, stainless steel uh, clasps as well. Uh, pretty basic here. And here is the case back. 100 millimeter, sorry, 100 meters uh, water resistant, and uh, here's the Citizen logo for the claps. So there are two sub dials uh, on the watch, uh, as well as a chapter ring uh, surrounding the, the markers, uh, the numerals of the watch. You can see it here clearly. So they are at, at the side there, within uh, within the case of the watch. As you can see there, it's pretty clear. It's really nice actually. It's a very nice touch uh, for the watch at this price point. They're very uh, legible, very easy to see. Especially uh, the white color really pops out. It's great. Uh, so here, let's try the, the chronograph function. So as you can, as you can see here, the, the, it ticks uh, 
like like an automatic watch so that is the beautiful thing about this quartz watch and if you reset it it does uh, you, you, you do have uh, sort of this uh, automatic chronograph feel to it so if you want a, an affordable uh, chronograph uh, piece I think this is a good option actually right so this is the uh, pull push uh, crown and uh, it, it also has a hacking movement okay so let's look at uh, the illumination of this watch and here it is uh, in uh, total darkness as you can see here even the, the numerals are nicely illumined on this watch so uh, Citizen has uh, its own uh, proprietary uh, uh, lume that is uh, probably uh, a bit similar to the Lumia Bright and here it is in uh, no light setting it's really nice I think the illumination really pops out it gives it a nice quality feel to it the watch is uh, at 20 millimeters lock width it's a strap monster you can fit it in in most uh, strap designs and or colors and uh, they still look great in my opinion so here's a leather strap here and uh, you can even put it on a NATO strap and uh, it still looks really good alright so let's look at some of the things that uh, I do love about the watch I do love uh, the eco drive technology uh, which means that I don't have to worry about uh, battery replacement uh, I love the overall aesthetic uh, the color the design it does feels a bit uh, like a throwback uh, to the vintage 8100 uh, helmet series it's an iconic model from Citizen last but not least I, I do love the lock width at 20 millimeters make it so easy to wear and uh, versatile uh, for any occasion let's look at some of the things that I don't quite fancy about the watch number one the bracelet it feels cheap uh, but it's expected at this price point uh, you can always uh, switch it for better straps and at 20 millimeters, there are many options out there. Uh, secondly, the chronograph buttons are not very good. Uh, they don't feel smooth. They feel very, I don't know, uh, very hard to press. And uh, thirdly, I think the crown it does uh, it feels rough and it can be irritating. I think, I think the quality of the crown is not very good in my opinion. And uh, fourthly, the, if you can see here, the chapter rings alignment seems a bit off. Um, seeing from my naked eye uh, you may want to inspect your watch properly before purchasing however uh, it doesn't uh, bother me too much to be honest I'm, I'm too distracted by the whole look of the watch uh, it's a very nice watch uh, in person I think you have to hold it to really appreciate the watch overall it is a very good looking watch uh, at this price point uh, you're getting a pilot watch uh, with legible dial good illumination chronograph complication and uh, I think to me, which is a, definitely a deal breaker to me, is a watch that is solar powered. Uh, this is definitely an interesting piece uh, for an affordable pilot chronograph option. If your collection uh, needs a pilot watch or a chronograph watch, or even both, a uh, watch that has both features, uh, both features, I think this is a very uh, interesting option. And uh, it's not very popular out there. Uh, making it unique as well. So I do hope you enjoy uh, my review of this watch. Uh, please click the like button and do drop your comments uh, to let me know some constructive comments on how I can improve my videos. So have a great day and stay safe everyone. Ciao.